This is actually the reading of an article in part. So I would encourage you to look at the original article because it's peppered with links to all kinds of other resources that are relevant. So I read portions of it and then feel free to look up the text version for all those resources. It's called Religious Wars versus Atheist Wars. Within various formats, from statistics to atheist versus Christian debates and much more in between, the issue of wars, and especially religious wars, is considered. To begin with, you can read up as to how the fact is that the argument from religious violence is not cogent. At the conclusion of this article, we will provide a list of all the wars which the authors of the Encyclopedia of Wars labels as religious wars. The authors are nine history professors who specifically conducted research for the text for a decade in order to chronicle 1,763 wars. The survey of wars covers a time span from 8,000 BC to 2003 AD. From over 10,000 years of war, 123 wars, which is 6.98%, are considered to have been religious wars. Moreover, half of those involved Islam. Now, what of atheist wars? While for various reasons this would be difficult to categorize, one thing is certain. The 20th century was both the most secular and the bloodiest in human history. Moreover, it was the bloodiest because it was the most secular. Some claim that the historical fact of the correlation of secularism and body counts in the hundreds of millions is merely a coincidence based on that which actually allowed such high body counts, which, they claim, was technological advancement. They claim that such advancements made the committing of such atrocities more efficient. However, this is clearly false, as most of those hundreds of millions were not murdered by anything more technologically advanced than one bullet to the head, or a machine gun at most. Many others were simply starved to death, which requires no technology whatsoever. The fact is that it was the secular world views which caused people to be seen as nothing but, but expendable bioorganisms. The hundreds of millions were not killed whilst engaged in war with other nations, but were rather murdered by their own regimes. They were not soldiers, but civilians, and they were not facing an enemy from without, but from within, their own leaders. Author, researcher, and Socratic gadfly, Vox Day, notes, Apparently, it was just an amazing coincidence that every communist of history, every communist of historical note, publicly declared his atheism. There have been 28 countries in world history that can be confirmed to have been ruled by regimes with avowed atheists at the helm. These 28 historical regimes have been ruled by 89 atheists, of whom more than half have engaged in democidal acts of the sort committed by Stalin and Mao. And here, democidal is defined as a term coined to describe governmental instigated mass murder of its own citizens. And Vox Day continues, the total body count for the 90 years between 1917 and 2007 is approximately 148 million dead at the bloody hands of 52 atheists three times more than all the human beings killed by war, civil war, and individual crime in the entire 20th century combined. The historical record of collective atheism is thus 
182,716 times worse an annual on an annual basis than Christianity's worst and most infamous misdeed, the Spanish Inquisition. It was not only Stalin and Mao who were so murderously inclined. They were merely the worst of the whole hell-bound lot. For every Pol Pot whose infamous name is still spoken with terror, with horror today, there was a Mengistu, a Bierut, and a Koibal's son, godless men whose names are now forgotten everywhere but in the lands they once ruled with a red hand. Is a 58% chance that an atheist leader will murder a noticeable percentage of the population over, over which he rules sufficient evidence that atheism does, in fact, provide a systematic influence to do bad things? If that is not deemed to be conclusive, what about the fact that the average atheist crime against humanity is 18.3 million percent worse than the worst depredation committed by Christians, even though atheists have had less than one twentieth the number of opportunities with which to commit them? If one considers the statistically significant size of the historical atheist set and contrasts it with the fact that not one in a thousand religious leaders have committed similar, similarly large-scale atrocities, it is impossible to conclude otherwise, even if we do not yet understand exactly why this should be the case. Once might be an accident, even twice could be coincidence, but 52 incidents in 90 years reeks of causation and that was the quote from box day concluding and this is the point this has been about atheist leaders who murder a noticeable percentage of the population over which he rules and they do so because of their world views which has them view other humans as either beneficial to their ends or useless, worthless eater, eaters, depleting resources in the struggle for life. Mein Kampf, my struggle. Conversely, let us note that removing one single religion from the stats on all religious wars, removing Islam's contribution, means that all of the other religious religions combined... Uh, means that all of the other religious faiths combined religious faiths combined only account for 3.35% of humanity's wars the historical evidence is conclusive religion is not the primary cause of war indeed it is not even anywhere near the realm of being close as per below Note a footnote by Vox Dei. Ironically, the seventh war of religion was not a religious war. The Encyclopedia of War has this to say. The seventh war of religion in 1580, also known as the Lover's War, had little to do with hostilities between the Catholics and Protestants. Instead, fighting was instigated by the actions of Margaret, the promiscuous wife of Henry, Henry the Fourth of Navarre. This is reminiscent of Richard Dawkins asking us to imagine with John Lennon, no religion, etc. Well, even his fellow atheist Michael Shermer took him to task in noting that governments often use religion as a facade to wage war over resources, etc. Ultimately, we do not have to imagine no religion. All we have to do is read the past century's history and see what no religion is all about. And in the article, then follows the list of religious wars as per the encyclopedia. And then there's a footnote again from Vox Day, And this is all quoted from his book, The Irrational Atheist. All numbers 
taken from Professor Rumiel's estimate at, and he gives the URL, with some minor updates from newer Rumnell figures. The calculations provided are at the mid-range for a total of 148 million victims of communism, although death tolls as high as 260 million in the 20th century have been estimated. Note that some known communist countries are not listed here. For example, the state murders committed by the Nicaraguan Sandinista regime, regime and the People's Republic of Southern Yemen numbered 5,000 people or less. In such cases, such as Kampuchea and Laos, the number reflect the victims of more than one communist regime. For example, the Khmer Rouge ruled Kampuchea from 1975 to 1978, after which the Vietnamese installed puppet government ruled until 1991. Both regimes committed mass murder, although the Khmer Rouge were ten times as deadly as their successors. Professor Romuel estimates 38.5 million people killed in all the wars and civil wars throughout the 20th century, averaging the published murder rates for the four largest countries in the world, China, India, and the USA, and the EU at their prospective high points. I calculated an estimated global murder rate of 3.12 per 100,000 population and multiplied it by an average 20th century population of 3.82 billion to reach an estimate of 11.9 million private murders, private murder victims in the 20th century.